We live in a remarkable part of North Yorkshire We're with fantastic people, absolutely fantastic scenery and most importantly we've got a really rich and diverse heritage and local history. Uh, at the moment we stood on Hinderwell Beacon which in the past has been an ancient burial mound and in more recent times an observation post during World War II. Um, as you look over the scenery at the top we've got Bulby Cliffs where alum was mined during the 19th century. Uh, further down towards stairs the ironstone mines and jet mining and El, um, alum at Kettleness and at Sands End. Um, there's also stone quarries in the area um, just over there called Quarry Banks and further along the ridge towards the village. So it was quite a hive of industry in the 19th century. Um, it's obviously a farming area. We had our own corn mills uh, there was one at Hinduwa Land at Dale House. There's a panny away from Stathes up across the moors to take fish and uh, obviously flour inland. We have quite a, a maritime history with connections to Captain Cook. Um, fishing was really important, especially at Stathes and Runzik Bay. Um, and of course there was smuggling in the area as well. Um, also you can see um, from Stades the old railway line passed through on its way to Whitby. So we have quite a lot of um, interesting stuff in the parish. Um, the Mulgrave Community Research Project began when Jet Coast Development Trust was asked if we would try and find the site of an Anglo-Saxon church which is just in the field behind us. Uh, near the little tin shed um, and of course we thought Crikey will we'll be doing something like uh, a time team um, project and so we both we all jumped at the opportunity to do that but when we sat down and thought about it uh, we have so many connections with other wards uh, other parishes sorry within the ward um, that we thought we would do a much bigger project and thanks to LEADER funding and to Your Heritage Lottery funding, we have been able to carry this on to make it a three-year project all in all. As well as encouraging uh, people from many different villages around the Mulgrave Ward and also from East Cleveland, um, we've also been able to organise lots of new learning, learning opportunities for people. Uh, these include things like um, field surveys in dowsing and using a magnetometer and also a resistance meter. Uh, we've also had oral history training so that we know how to undertake interviews properly. Um, we've done uh, lots of IT courses so people are able to access research on the internet. We've had Dreamweaver courses so that we can create our own websites. Another important part of the project is that Kevin Cale from Community Archaeology is working with three local primary schools from Lythe, Hinderwell and Stathes. So each term he undertakes um, various activities with the school and this is a unique opportunity for them to get involved in local history and uh, looking at our wide and very varied industrial heritage. <laughs>